a live look in at the beautiful Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, the host of today's featured game in a state-of-the-art yard. Players getting set to square off in TCF Bank Stadium. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. Welcome to the campus of the University of Minnesota, home to their new stadium and what is sure to be a great game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. My partner is Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews will join us on the sidelines. Today's college football action is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. We've got the Northwestern Wildcats and the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. Continue to bring the excitement of the season as the fans are anxious to see what teams will make the bowl bids and who will be the national champion. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 29. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date from Troy. For Northwestern, what are you looking for from their offense? The great strength of this spread offense is its versatility. You can attack in so many different ways if you have the right trigger. Move. Again, we're going to spread you out from sideline to sideline. We've got athletes at wide receiver. We've got a running back that can make some plays. Our quarterback can throw the football. He can also run the ball. It just puts so much pressure on a defense. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. The crowd at a fever pitch right now. Looking to throw. And he's tackled at the 35. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Lewis is waiting for the snap. down at the 33 yard line from their own 33 yard line first down here's the give he makes his way to about the 45 good solid running right there getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped first and ten Ball on the 45-yard line. Here's the option to the right. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Ready. Ah. That's a great tackle at the 31. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We've got a first and 10 ball on the 31. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. 
Brooks on the right side. Brooks gains around six yards on the run. That'll make it second and four. right around the 26 yard line guys when we were at practice this week you kind of got the feeling that they might run a little no huddle in fact here it comes and that defense is getting a little excited down there So with that penalty, they'll move the chains. Man, that is frustrating for a defense when you think you've made a stop and then a flag gives them a first down. From the 21-yard line, first down. Here's the run, got a hole inside the 10, and he is drilled at the seven. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. And it looks like they're gonna go no huddle here. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Dawson picks up about four yards on the play. It's the ninth play of the drive. Gives it to the back, touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He makes the PAT. A quick update now, here's Reese. Let's take a look at scores around the country. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Minnesota to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. What a collision. They'll start at the 27-yard line. two-yard line, and that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 22. Montgomery drops to throw, and they make the stop around the 31-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and six. Everybody on their feet. Gives it to the back. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point with a three-play, 74-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. You know, this offense right now is running the football when they want to, passing the football when they want to. They're having big plays pretty much it, it will anytime they want to come up with big plays. I just don't know if there's anything that this defense can do to stop it. We're even at seven in this one. Oh, he got nailed on that one. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Option here. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Second down and 12. Ball on their own 18. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Takes a snap and he's in trouble. Hit as he threw and he completes it. He's taken down around the 35 yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7-7. Tackle made around.
down the 32-yard line. Three yards. That brings up second and 13. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 32. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. And he helped the offense with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a free play, which could become even more costly than the five-yard penalty. It's second and eight. Ball on the 37. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration of what he did at the end of the route that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. Here's the halfback. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 37-yard line, first down. They're packed in tight on the line. He's got the corner. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings up second and nine. From the 36-yard line, second down. They go with the back, and he's got room. He makes his way out to about the 25. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 25-yard line, first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He gets another carry. Gets out to around the 12. Five wide. Try to confuse the defense here with the audible. And he tackles him hard at the 10 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. This is the 11th play of this drive. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11 play, 80 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Ellis has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Returns 24 yards. They'll start this drive at the 30. Drops back on first down. Strike to his receiver. No good. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled right around the 30. They come out in a five-wide set. They're changing the play. Quick throw out to the receiver. There's no one between him and the end zone. To the 20. He 
Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Well, I guess they're not going to sneak anything by the return team. They're looking for an onside kick. The offense will start at the 25. Level at the 46 yard line. From the 46 yard line, it's first down. Takes the ball right. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Ready. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, that's a holding penalty. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. They come out in an empty backfield. That's a great tackle at the 31. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 31. He fights forward to about the 30. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That brings up second and nine. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And they'll run him again. Tackles around the 21-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Minnesota could take the lead with this field goal. It's up. No good. He pushed it to the right. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Gives it up the gut. Makes it to the 41. So we've played two quarters, 14 apiece. We were back you know these turn. coaches used halftime to make it clear to the clubs the importance of this third quarter as we approach the second half kickoff. We'll take a moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Well, during the first half, it seemed to go back and forth between these two teams. One of them will have to step up in the second half in order to break this stalemate. Both of these quarterbacks have enjoyed good protection with neither team allowing a sack. Brad, back up to you. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of five yards on the play. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Across the middle, tight end's got it. The 50. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. It's first down and 10 now, after picking up some great yardage through the air. 
He may have changed things up here. Nice run up the middle. Brooks gained seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. And he is drilled at the 23. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. The offense here picks up a first down by running the football, and I really think that they gave the quarterback there an option at the line of scrimmage to run or to pass, depending on what he saw from the defense. The defense that time looked to be out of position. I think they were anticipating a pass. The quarterback recognized that, made the check at the line, and they were able to... Touchdown, Minnesota! The five. He makes the PAT. A nice six-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Quarterbacks love to see their running backs making big plays because what that does is it forces the defense to have to pay so much attention to the running game that it takes some of the pressure off of the pass rush, and it gives the quarterback more options to be able to throw the football and more time to be able to execute the pass game. Oh, man, he took him down hard. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's the option left. Pitches back. And they make the stop at the 24. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Hand off to the back. Look out. Makes it out to about the 39. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Taken down around the 48-yard line. Daniels Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position that and to hit his and spot ten. in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, uh, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Touchdown, Wildcats! So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, apparently this return team just doesn't trust the kicker. They're in an onside kick formation. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. And they got him for a loss. They swallowed that one up. That option play lost about a yard. That'll bring up second and 11. He goes downtown. In and out of his hands. Babcock was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and 11. Thomas set to go to the air. And it's almost picked off. Adkins, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down.
Scott, the return man. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. This drive will start at the 19. Back to pass. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Very good tackle in space. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 32. Here's a draw. Brought down at about the 35. That'll make it 39. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's at midfield, and he's got him again. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. For a gain of 19 yards. First down. They're calling an audible. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Henry gains about four yards on the play. That brings up second and five. Montgomery with the option. He's gobbled up in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. So at the end of the third quarter, we've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. And he tackles him hard at the 31-yard line. Adams picks up a yard on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and it's good! And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. And this is just a booming kick. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Brad, this is where it could get really fun, where you see whether or not an offense has what it takes to get themselves in position, at least have a shot at a game-tying field goal and maybe getting this into overtime. And so every once in a while, peek down at that kicker to see how he's dealing with his butterflies. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And that one's incomplete. Moore was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. 
It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. Throws this one out to the left. And it's caught! And he's tackled at the 41. Yeah, a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Ready. Nice run to the outside. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Runs outside for a nice game. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Hopefully he's going to be okay. And he might change the play here before the snap. Nice run there as they work the outside. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Thomas gets the ball. And they get nice yardage on that run. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The battle for bragging rights in the Red River, Oklahoma and Texas. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Longhorns unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. Less than three minutes in the game. Dawson gets another handoff. Fumble! Makes it to the 12-yard line. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Nice run, and he's brought down. And they convert the first down on that run. And the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. That brings up a second and goal. Four yards out. Touchdown, and that gives them the lead. And he hits the PAT. Minnesota is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. And for Henry, it's been a fun afternoon. Well, he is a great example for young running backs to follow. He is running north and south. He's not wasting any time dancing around or running east and west. Young backs, pay attention to this. Get up field and get as many yards as you can. You know, this guy is just pure excitement. Anytime he touches the football and he gets it in his hands, you want to hold your breath because of potentially what's about to happen. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he's level at the 38. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at about the 49. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Huh. 
He's changing things up. Can't find anyone open. Dives, and he's down. Well, the defense has got to step up and make a play. That's a great first down for this offense, but the defense has the lead. Somebody's got to step up and make a play to preserve a victory. He'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. He's out of bounds around the 36-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 36. And that just might do it. Intercepted. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. Oh, no. They really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. From their own 28-yard line, first down. On the handoff, watch out. That's a great tackle at the 40. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 40. We have less than a minute to go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Dawson picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Run right side, and he's tackled after positive yardage. Northwestern will take their final timeout. First and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. And they'll run him again. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 32. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. And they'll go with a no huddle. Makes it to the 28-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The Golden Gophers taking their first time out of the half. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 31-24, Minnesota. It's final, a close one to the very end. 31-24, Golden Gopher. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund.